the morning. We are, I, I don't know, three miles in today. What time is it? 8.18. Yeah, we're probably three miles in this morning. And currently walking on some rocks. So, hasn't really changed anything. But, it rained on us last night, as y'all heard, I'm assuming. I think I told y'all. Yeah, we told y'all. Anyway, rained on us last night, and then a little bit more. Really, really early this morning. Uh, it's probably like 1, 2 o'clock. And then, stop. So, everything's all wet and muggy. Everything in the tent just felt wet because it was so humid. And the fog this morning was kind of. So, what fog does is it almost seeps into the tent and everything gets wet in the tent. Because you have to have a vent open in the tent so that way your condensation can leave but it's almost like it works the opposite way in the fog everything gets wet so sleeping bag's a little damp obviously the tent's soaked but we're dry that's the main thing it's supposed to be a pretty hot day today as well i think 70 something which is really hot bugs are pretty bad here because of all the wetness, I guess. I don't know. They weren't bad up on the ridges in Pennsylvania because there was absolutely no water. So there's just no bugs. But here we're a little lower in elevation and the bugs are back. So I don't know. Hopefully we can get out of them. Keep going north. Maybe to get a little cooler. We'll see. Got a few more days in New Jersey. It's not a very big state, so we keep cracking out 20s. We should be out of it pretty fast. But, and then into New York, so that's cool. We also have, what is it? We have, we have 800 and, I don't know. I knew yesterday. It's like 890 miles left, or 885 miles left. So we're under that 900 mark now, which is awesome. So we can keep going at it and nothing up north slows us down too much but either way this morning we're trying to walk go get some water because we passed up a beaver pond last night to try to find a better camping spot where there wasn't a dead tree hanging over the tent site and there's been no water so our first water is like four miles this morning so we're gonna go get some water and keep on walking. Taking a little break to walk down here to Crater Lake. So it's a good spot to take a break and we need water. So we wound up here. Really pretty. <laughs> All by ourselves out here. What? Gavin slips and falls in the lake. Uh, <laughs> cold? It's so cold. My feet hurt so good. <laughs> this is a sign to climb a tree. Mm-hmm. 
Not bad. Right. A little single gnome. That must be his little homestead in there. Oh, that is awesome. Out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. Rocking the bug net. <laughs> And then you got the gnome, just hanging out still. He needs a bug too. <laughs> we just walked to the top of Blue Mountain in New Jersey. This is the, the view you get from there. Not bad. All right, so I just realized I never actually showed you all the new shoes Jeff got, so. Let's, let's look at that real fast. Oh, so we got the Topo Mountain Racers. I think the threes is what they are, but we also got some special, what are these called, skirts? So that way, gaiters, so that way nothing gets into his socks and into his shoe right here. And they're special for Topo because Topo has these little grooves. And if you get these right here that are, for, are really expensive, but anyway, they hook in here and nothing gets in here i mean it's a velcro right here on top and so it works really well but the bottom of his shoes are pretty grippy i that's what i mean i'm wearing topos i don't have to have the skirts on mine though and mine are not as grippy on the bottom so my his are the mountain racers mine's are mine are the adventure something or another but either way this is the shoe that we've stuck with so far because i had ultras and he said Solomon's. Now he's in Topos. Now I'm in Topos. And so far, you've liked those, right? They work good so far. So far, they're good. Good. So I think uh, I think we're gonna stick with that. My next shoes will be Topos, definitely. Whenever I get new ones, definitely get some green ones though, because they match my outdoor research shorts. That are by far my favorite shorts we've worn on the trail so far. Jeff's got some gray ones, and so. I don't know. They, the material on them is really nice, so that's why we just we stuck with them. The pockets are nice because they're they're vertical instead of horizontal, so stuff don't fall out when you're hiking. Yeah, they're straight down, and they're kind of in the front too. They're not as far back or anything. And you got a zipper if you need it. And the zipper pocket. They dry really fast too. Oh, I can't see back there, but but because my I was just in the pond with mine, and mine are dry as could be now. So yeah, a little update because I forgot about that. Alright, it's the end of, uh, it's not the end of it yet, but the end of day 81, we're still hiking, still got a little bit of sunlight left over there, we're at 20, how many miles, Kim? 24 miles right 24, now, 24 and a half, we got in right now, looking for a campsite, if not we don't find one, we will make it to the next shelter, and it's like two miles away I think, so it'll give us another big day of miles, pretty cool day. We got to go swimming in the, uh, what was that, Crater Lake? Yeah. A little chilly. But I want to go ahead and do the video before we get down this hill. I might not have service. Just want to be able to post it. Because we're starting to go down. What else we did today, Gavin? We didn't really, I didn't intentionally swim. Yeah, it was kind of an accident, but it happened. Yeah, I just kind of fell in, but it was good once I was in it for a minute. It was funny, to say the least. 
Better one. <laughs> but we, uh, hey, a nice restaurant. we did eat at a good restaurant. What was the name of it? I don't remember. I don't either, but it was good. This is a weird hill, so I'm walking around. It was yeah, in Branchville. Branchville? Yeah. A little zigzagging down these rocks. A little tricky. Just taking poles in one hand and a phone in the other. So I can do this without dying. You can do it. It's late in the day, man. Okay, so what else we got for this evening? What? Yeah, we're gonna try to resupply tomorrow. Hope that works out good. We'll let you know how that goes. Bugs are bad. Bugs are bad. Water's been kind of a problem finding good water. It's all brown and gross. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. A lot of beaver ponds. Not a whole lot of uh, water choices, but we've made do. We got plenty of water. Uh, I think that's about it. We'll recap in the morning actually how many miles we ended up with today, but right now we're looking at probably 25-ish. Uh, somewhere in there, I think. Anything else, Kevin? Mm, uh, not really. That's it. <laughs> I finally made it to camp tonight. Setting up our tent. Getting ready for night, night time. We ended up with 25. Uh, yeah, like something like that. So here we are. You got to get this pillow ready. You can snuggle with it. A big hagna set up. Awesome tent, by the way. I don't even know the name. What's the name of the shelter? I don't know where we're at. <laughs> I don't either. We walked for forever today. <laughs> it's a uh, 805. Well, we took forever eating oh. lunch. Yeah, we did. We it spent a little time at, at that that lake. That was pretty cool, though. And then we, we stopped at the fire tower for a while. Yep, we did that. I mean, we just took our time today. Somehow we still pulled out 25 by eight. So, but that's a total of like 13 hours today. Yeah. 12, 11 hours hiking. There's a duck flying. That's weird. There's a lot of uh, bogs. Bogs around here. Yeah, they identify them as bogs. Up north up here, they call them bogs. We refer to them as swamps. That's a swamp. Mm -hmm. Is what that is. Lots of swamps. I'm not sure. It's just a big swamp. But that's it for today.